So my journey into the law was rather unconventional. I was not very successful at school. I, I did well at O levels, but not at A levels. And so I went straight into working environment. I joined uh, Davis Arnold Cooper as the court clerk, which meant uh, my responsibilities were to go to court every day to seek time summonses and extensions and further and better particulars for, for lawyers in the office. After a while, it became apparent that uh, in order to succeed, I needed to move into the office and manage some casework. And my employers then were very generous and allowed me and sponsored me to, to, to take the legal exec exams. So uh, I worked indoors on case files for many years whilst studying at night school for the legal exec exam. I then did a, a law degree as well. Um, and then after that, qualified as a solicitor. So a slightly unconventional background, but it gave me a real appreciation of the benefits of a legal education and a law degree in particular. It's exciting, challenging and demanding to work at Clyde & Co. I'd say it's exciting because we are engaged in some of the most interesting aspects of commerce, both domestically and globally. Um, my practice is a case in point where I act for some of the major insurers and reinsurers of the world and I act for many industrial clients in their arbitration matters. We're working for and against governments, which is very exciting. We're at the cutting edge of certain areas of the law. That makes our job challenging because we're having to determine new law, uh, which is not always very easy. It's demanding because you will be under a lot of pressure from our clients who are looking for the right outcome. Uh, they require answers almost immediately. Working in a global law firm such as Clyde & Co means that in the morning in London you'll be dealing with Australia and in the night time you'll be dealing with the west coast of the States So, and all time zones in between during the day. So, as I say, challenging, demanding, but really very exciting. As a partner in Clyde & Co, I'm looking for someone to join who is open-minded, curious and prepared to help others. So open-minded, we are a global law firm, we have a multicultural workforce and multicultural clients. So I need someone who is prepared to acknowledge that different cultures approach different subject matters in different ways. I need someone who is intellectually curious. Uh, we are trusted advisors to our clients. We can't advise unless we understand what concerns our clients are facing. So I need, on one hand, someone who will understand technical matters, and on other hand, the psychology of clients, opponents, and counterparties. So in any one day, I might be dealing with the technology of paint or the technology of de derivative swap accounts. And I need someone who's intellectually curious to deal with that. We're a team. So I need someone who's open-minded and will be prepared to be part of a team, look out for their colleagues, ensure their clients' interests are served, and look out for their community as well. Diversity and inclusion is very important at Clyde & Co. In fact, it's at the heart of all of our decision-making processes now. Historically, law firms have been rather monochrome in their look. Traditionally, uh, diversity and inclusion has not been high on the agenda and we need to change that. Not only is it a moral issue, a societal issue, but it's actually a very business critical decision. Our clients expect our workforce to be representative of our community and if we're not representative then we are likely to lose the support of those clients. We all know that unconscious bias results in us perhaps choosing similar looking, similar sounding and similar thinking people to work with us. And that's not good for business. It leads to groupthink and we need to include much more diverse populations so that we can think more differently and assist our clients better. We need to rebalance our workforce, as I say, to reflect our society, both at the junior level but also at the partner level and as the senior partner I'm committed to increase our diversity and inclusion going forward.